Now, I'd really ad advise any students starting their own models to start with orthographic reference, a front and a side view. Um, but at this stage, you know, Beta didn't really have one. And sometimes, if you're not the greatest drawer in the world, you can't draw up very accurate front and side views. So don't stress too much. But but really, the better reference you have and the more that you've thought about this model before coming in here, the easier it is in this 3D kind of mode to start doing some stuff. So as you can see, we can just mirror that over, delete history, and that's that shape there of the eye is really starting to take shape. And I'm really like, I haven't rehearsed this too much, so it's, it's really just a matter of hacking in there and just seeing how the topology goes as you go. This is going to be a lot different to the way that Beto ended up modeling it. Uh, but you know it's still the same sort of principles apply so what we want with eyes is really a, a nice strong radial topology so I'm going to go in here and delete some of those lines so we've just got this nice loop sort of working here and we're just going to make this a lot bigger because I know from ex from the way that we modeled this we want these long bags under the eyes and these long big tall eyelids here and that's sort of the rough shape that we wanted to start getting out of our model with this nice eye that's sort of in place here. So here we go. Sometimes with some of this stuff, you can go in and you can use like the the B key, which is a soft selection, and just sort of move around some of this stuff a little bit easier. All right, great. So here we go, we've got like the rough shape of an eye. Straight away, I'm just gonna come in here and delete some of this inside stuff. So this is the area that we're not gonna see that's gonna hide in sort of inside the eye. And the advantage of this is that we can really quickly, with only a few vertices, get in there and start mapping, tracking that onto the eye. So the eyeball shape will really help us out to get an idea of really where we want our verts to be. As you can see, that's like way too far in, inside of the mesh. And the trick with eyes is, like the mouth, you just have a lot of radiuses like quite close together there. It always works a bit nice. That way you don't have to worry too much. You just squeeze all the radiuses together and sort of make them radiate, radiate out from that area. So we're going to have a little bit more topology in this eye. That many shapes is not really enough. The other thing is uh, that we always have like three sort of lines close together on each eye, so it helps us out a little bit. So I'm just going to put that in really quickly now. We just put. So we're just going to go in here and cut into the mesh and cut right through. That's a nice, easy way of doing it. There we go, there's one there. And let's just go and cut straight through to there, done. All right, so now we've got these loops here. We're trying to space them out there. We know that they're gonna throw through and that's gonna mirror quite well into the other side, delete history. And we're just gonna do the same here on this eye. So let's just go through here, sort of close together, far apart. And then we're just gonna link them back to the back of the head. And we've got that sort of effect happening now. We also want another loop in here, so that's going to loop out that way, which is probably not exactly the best thing. So let's go try and cut up. And we're just going to merge these vertices to get rid of that triangle. Make that a little bit better. And the same thing down this way. We need some more detail down here, so that's going to work quite nicely. cut into here and maybe one more loop down there as well will help us out and one up this direction so now we've got enough lines in here let's just go in and tweak these vertices so they're in the right place so I'm going to tweak these eyes and then we're going to come back and, and keep talking Okay, so now we've got that, that eye kind of happening. We can mirror that again, delete some of the history. And you can see this start of, this part of the eye is really starting to sh take shape now, at least in the basic sort of elements. Now, we've got some things here together that we sort of need to collapse. So we can just grab some of these lines here and we'll just merge them together very quickly, get rid of that triangle. So now what I'm looking at doing is really just trying to clean up the geometry so that it's, it's working in a bit of a better order. As we can see here, we've got some lines that really just are here and don't really need to be too much. They really need to exist that, that well. And, and I'm really just focusing on this brow area. So anything down here past this element here 
we're really just going to sort of forget about and just terminate it there and it can really just be a mess for now and we'll go back later and fix that all up. So we've got another triangle there and, and this is sort of like not going anywhere this loop so let's just go in here for now. We can always add in more loops later and we're just going to trash that. Let's get rid of some of these guys. There we go, mirror that. There's another couple of guys that are left over. And as you can see, you know, you're just sort of sliding some of these loops around. Oh, sorry. There we go. Let's just slide them up a little bit. Again, mirror. See how that's looking. You know, this sort of a topology in the eye is really sort of starting to take shape pretty easily now. And it's not so bad at all, really. Okay, so we want a little bit more detail in the eye. Like, we can even start at this stage, just start to like smooth some of this stuff out and just see how uh, how our mesh is starting to take shape. You know, we, we've got these nice sharp lines here. Uh, our, our eye is really looking not very well formed, so we can just get in there and just really start to hack away at this eye a little bit. Uh, so let's go. And we know that we want pretty close lines together for this because we're going to have a crease down the bottom of the bag of the eye. We're going to have you know, a bit of an eyelid on this guy. And while that's still selected, we can even use that to pull it out a little bit. Grow the selection a little. And that way we've got this nice sort of like extruded eyelid. We could have used an extrude, but it's just a different way of doing it. Get some of these vertices and tuck them right back in there. There we go, nice. And we're just going to get another one for the lids. And this time I'm just going to deselect a couple loops here. Maybe those ones as well. And we can just pull these out a little bit. And that's going to get our eyelids sort of starting to happen in a nice sort of version. At least we can see the basics of what's happening with our eye. So we smooth that again. And all of a sudden we've got a little bit of a shape sort of starting to take shape there with that sort of an eye. And I think this is really the basics of, of how we're going through with our topology. So you can see that we've gone very quickly in here and we've sort of like hacked and slashed this, this mesh quite nicely to get um, a much more soothing mesh. Now later on over here we're going to get rid of all that stuff and all of this stuff and we're going to come in here and pull some of these vertices together. To get a nice sharp line here for example we can just uh, tweak these vertices and move them close together and that's going to get a little bit of a sharper line for us. Like, So I'll just do that now speed up the video all right so now we're just gonna have a look at have a look at this see how we got a nice sharp line there compared to the other side we can mirror that across uh, delete history again and we're starting to get a nice, you know, sharp shape with the eyebrows here. We can move some of these guys around and it's really just a matter of using some of our soft select tools uh, and grabbing some of this, these vertices and sort of moving them in and out and getting, getting some things to look a little bit better. We can grab some of this eyelid here and really pull it up, get some nice stuff happening. You know, to get our, our model looking much better. Um, last thing is I'll, I'll try and see if we can just uh, have a little bit of a go at some of this topology. We're doing some weird things here. We want that to look a little bit nicer. So let's just go in and do that now. Just gonna. We've got this sort of like problems that always occur with poles. So we've got a pole here. Um, sometimes pol poles are really unavoidable part of modeling, but we want to sort of put them in places where they can sort of be resolved so I'm just going to go in here and just like clean up some of this these guys see see which ways we can get our topology sort of working so for now I can just take out some of these lines so we're going to like loop that one back there grab that guy And all of a sudden, see, we've just got a nice flow happening through there. 
later on we can come in here and clean up some of this stuff and make it a lot nicer to look at but the mesh is all we're really worrying about here and getting these nice loops happening in our meshes uh, we've got you know this area here which is really an indent so pull that in and pull these guys out a little up and out a little bit because two close lines together can create a little bit of a crease and it's nice if they're in the right places there we go this tweaking aspect is really quite enjoyable or it can be <laughs> once you sort of like it's kind of meditative there we go and I think that's really about as far as I'm going to go in this tutorial let's mirror that again delete history and we can just sort of start to see that really like that part of our mesh is really starting to take shape and that's really as easy as it is to hack and slash into our meshes uh, we're gonna in the next tutorial show a few tools of, of just throwing around the mesh really quickly to scale it and stretch it into size but for now I think that's it's really good enough uh, in this example to to see where we've come from and where we've ended up with a, a much better mesh here especially around the eye area